In this example, we will study equations with factorials and permutations. Solve each of the following without using a calculator. In part A, solve NP2 equals 56. Write the permutation as a fraction. Expand the larger expression until it matches the smaller expression. N factorial is larger than N minus 2 factorial, so expand the numerator. Cancel N minus 2 factorial from the numerator and denominator. Expand. Bring all of the terms to the left side. Factor the trinomial. The solution is n equals negative 7 and 8. We must reject n equals negative 7 because it would make the original expression undefined. The only answer is n equals 8. In part b, solve 6pr equals 120. Write the permutation as a fraction. Cross multiply. Divide both sides by 120. This gives us 6 equals 6 minus r factorial. At this point we're stuck, algebraically speaking. It might help to write 6 in factorial form, 3 factorial, so we can more easily compare the left and right sides of the equation. By inspection, the right side becomes 3 factorial when we plug in 3 for r. When r equals 3, the original equation, 6pr equals 120, will hold true. In part c, solve n plus 3p2 equals 20. Write the permutation as a fraction. Simplify. Expand the larger expression until it matches the smaller expression. n plus 3 factorial is larger than n plus 1 factorial, so expand the numerator. Cancel n plus 1 factorial from the numerator and denominator. Expand the binomial. Bring all of the terms to the left side. Factor the trinomial. The solution is n equals negative 7 and 2. We must reject n equals negative 7 because it would make the original expression undefined. The only answer is n equals 2. In part d, solve n minus 3p1 equals 2 times n minus 4p1. Write each permutation as a fraction. Simplify. Expand the larger factorial expression in each fraction. Cancel. Expand. Isolate n.
Divide both sides by negative 1 to get the answer, n equals 5.